Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the Sang4 IM version 11 SMS authentication. SMS authentication is means that using SMS method to verify user and allow them to surf internet. It will send an verification code to user through the Sang4 SMS modem. This method is major using for a big company that have many non-local user and report can be generated for marketing use. Two methods can be used in this SMS authentication. One is built-in SMS modules and another one is SMS module installed on external server. The external server can be a PC or a server. This is the sample topology for the SMS authentication. You can see have IAM version 11, wireless repeater, SMS modem, and mobile device. When mobile phone surf the internet, it will be direct to an authentication page. This is the authentication page. You can see you can key in the phone number and click the send. After user key in the phone number, click the send, will send the request to the IAM. You can see the request is sent to the IAM. IAM will forward the request to the SMS modem. After that, SMS modem will send a message with authentication code inside to a user. Finally, user is able to surf the internet. Configuration step for the SMS authentication. Step 1. Access the website without authentication. Step 2. Access IAM web UI. Step 3. Configure external authentication server. Step 4. Configure the authentication policy. Step 5. Access the website with authentication by the SMS. Now, let us start the SMS authentication configuration. We can access to internet without any authentication. For the result, you can see I can access to the YouTube without any authentication. Now, let us log in to the IAM. This is the IAM login page. Key in the username and the password. This is the console page. Before we configure an authentication policy, we need to set up an external authentication server first. Go to the user tab under authentication, click external authentication server. Add a new SMS based authentication and then enter the name for the server such as SMS authentication server for this box is the message content we can configure a custom message contents that we need to show to the customer or show to the user Be reminded that the verified URL and the verified code cannot be changed. Besides that, we also can restore the message content to the default one. For this checkbox, we'll bind the user with MAC address, means that 
will enable user to surf internet by 30 days without authentication again after the first time authentication successful. For this box, we have two modules. One is built-in SMS modules and another one is use SMS module installed on external server. When using the SMS module installed on external server, we need to type in the server address and the SMS center port. For the SMS center port, we're using the default x 7 x 7 and we need to download the software and install it. For this tutorial, I'm using the built-in SMS module. Besides that, we're also using the GS GSM modem for the SMS type. After that, key in the country code and then key in the SMS center and then the COM port we will using the COM0 for built-in SMS module we are use, always using the COM0 as the COM port and then for the COM bound rate we are using the default 115200 after finish the configuration, you can test the validity. And then you can key in the phone number. And click send. And you can see a message. You successful send the message. And then commit. After that, you need to create an authentication policy. Click add and then key in the name. And then for the description part, you can key in the description that you want. And then for object, you need to key in the IP address that you need to authentic. For the authentic method, you need to choose the password base. And then for the server, you need to choose the SMS authentication server. Check it. And then for the others, just remain to default. For the action part also and then click commit and then for the above enable it and then the message will prompt up you successful create a policy and now we, we try to access to the YouTube again as a result you can see we are being authentic by the IAM you can key in the phone number and then you click send. You will receive a code. Then you type in the code, then you will be successful to solve the internet. Thank you for watching the video.